Hey everybody, I cannot believe 2021 is coming to an end, but that means I have only a few more weeks to tell you about the amazing books that have been sent my way. Now, most of the books I'm about to tell you in this book haul are coming out in 2022. So I am here today to make your 2022 TBR explode. Let's get started. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Print Ink and Paper Blog. How are you doing today? As always, I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're safe. And of course, I hope you're reading an amazing book or two or three or four. It is rainy and cold and wet and dark here in Northern California. So I apologize for the lighting. It is 100% artificial today. Um, and it has led to this beautiful shiny forehead that you see before you today. So usually I have some sunlight and I can compensate, but today it is all about the artificial light. And today, it is all about a making your 2022 TBR explode. So get out your pen, your paper, your Goodreads, however you keep track of your TBR. If you are so able, please order these books from your local independent bookstore and or have your library get you a order, you know, get them to order it early for you so that you can have it as soon as it comes out. Now, the first book is actually already out, sent to me by Amazon Publishing, and that is The, Wendy, the Wedding Party by Li Wu Xinwu, translated from the Chinese by Jeremy Ching. And this is the story of a family set in like 1982, December-ish, Beijing, China. It's a family getting ready to celebrate the wedding of their oldest son. Now, they live in this a community that is centered around like this uh, little uh, courtyard and different families live all around it. And it's about all of these people and this wedding. It's about the caterers and the guests, the unexpected guests, and all of that and the, you know, the turmoil and chaos that is a wedding. But it's also set against the backdrop of the Chinese cultural revolution that is occurring at this time and how all of that is going to come together and connect. So that is The Wedding Party by Liu Xinwu, translated from the Chinese by Jeremy Tieng. And I, I was reading up on Jeremy. He's actually a poet and a writer. Oh, they are actually a poet and a writer themselves. I apologize. I did read that. Um, and um, they sound fantastic. I follow them on Twitter and I'm going to be deep diving. So get your hands on this copy right now. Okay. Now the ones coming out in 2022 are all in order of publication. Unless the book says like January 2022 on it, I'm just putting it at the forefront and letting you know it comes out in January, which is where we're gonna start with Servant Mage by Kate Elliott out from Tor.com coming out in January, 2022. This is, a, Kate Elliott needs no introduction to those of the fantasy world. You know, she is prolific and fantastic. And this little novella sounds so good. And this is the story of Felian. She is a lamplighter magician, a low class mage that can control and sustain light. And one day she is freed by a group of rebels from the monarchists who are in control and her whole life is sort of thrown in disarray. It's a world she's never really experienced outside of the task that she is given to do. And they um, rope her into being involved in this plot to kill the youngest baby um, royal, la latest royal baby. Um, and put an end to the monarchists, to end the monarchy, right? Um, but she is really torn between her sense of duty and her sense of uh, survival and what she's going to do. Now, I feel like this is going to be one of those novellas that I'm going to dive into and in probably on a Saturday morning and finish in a day. It sounds fantastic. So that's Kate Elliott's Servant Mage out from Tor.com in January of 2022. Now, I you probably are hearing an airplane go over overhead. There's nothing I can do about it. You know, and now you're going to hear a train. So it is just one of those days where you can hear everything in the world of Russell. So there you go. The next book I want to tell you about comes out on January 4th, 2022. And that's The High House by Jesse Greengrass. Now, Jesse Greengrass's novel site was shortlisted for the Women's Prize for Fiction. Um, and it was everywhere. And people really, really loved it. And this book sounds just as fantastic. This is the story of Caro and her younger half-brother, Polly. Um, their, her father and mother, uh, stepmother have been killed in what is being described as a faraway climate disaster. And they get moved to a new home called the High House. And it is taken care of by a caretaker named Grandy and his daughter. 
And I like what it says here, Granny and his daughter, Sally, and the two pairs learn to live together. But there's limits to the safety, there's limits to the supplies, there's limits to everything Granny can teach them um, as his health starts to fail. And this book is about parenthood, siblings, love, relationships, friendships, survival in difficult times. So I think it sounds fantastic. So out from Scribner Books on January 4th, 2022 is The High House by Jesse Greengrass. Okay, I'm gonna be super honest as I pick up this next book and say, I've been trying to do this video for about an hour and this is about as far as I get because for some reason my brain and my mouth are not on the same page and I wanna do justice to every book I'm gonna talk about. So the next book, we are gonna talk about is Yonder by Jabari Assam, out from Simon & Schuster. This one comes out on January 11th. And this is the story, I'm only gonna give you a part of the blurb. So, um, because I, this is what drew me to this book. It says, they call themselves the stolen. Their owners call them captives. They are taught their captor's tongue and their beliefs, but they have a language and a ritual all their own. So this is a story of two men who um, live and meet on a plantation and they have um, in the tragedies and um, violence of, uh, of slavery has not left them untouched. And they uh, don't, they've got this like tight knit group of friends that is sort of getting them through everything. And then one day this minister arrives and it says, their relationships begin to fray when a visiting minister with a mysterious past starts to fill their heads with the ideas about independence. He tells them that with freedom comes the right to choose the small things as well as the big things, such as whom and how to love. Do they follow the preacher and pursue the unknown? Confined in a landscape marked by deceit and uncertainty, who can they trust? I think it sounds fantastic. I think this cover is absolutely gorgeous. So out on January 11th from Simon & Schuster is Yonder by Jabari, Jabari Assam. And yeah, I think this one sounds fantastic. I need to dive into it. I, 2022 is going to be another year of books that I am going to rave about. I just know it. Um, the next book I want to tell you about is Perpetual West by Misha Marin. Now, Misha was everywhere for her book, Sugar Run. And this book is out from Algonquin. It comes out on January 25th. And I think this one sounds so good. Now, this is the story of Alex and Elena. They moved from Virginia to El Paso, Texas. Now, Alex is... Uh, was born in Mexico, but adopted by American Pentecostal parents. And when he gets to El Paso, he continues to sort of go into Mexico to learn about his history, his culture, his language, and really con wants to connect with that. Now, Elena is much more unsure of what she's going to do. And she starts to drop out of class. She doesn't know what she wants to do. And then although they are best friends, Elena has no idea that Alex has fallen in love with this um, boy, Mateo, who is a Lucha, Lucha Libra fighter. And he goes missing. And she doesn't know if he's missing as in he was kidnapped, or is he missing on his own accord? And it, um, it says, uh, spanning their journey from Virginia to Texas to Mexico, um, uh, t the author takes us from missionaries to wrestling matches to a luxurious cartel compound and deep into the psychic, psychic choices that shape our identities. Do you sometimes read a word and you're like, is that the right word? And you just keep looking at it thinking, I know that word. That was me right there. So that's Perpetual West by Misha Mirren out from Algonquin Books on January 25th, 2022. Okay, I think we're now into February. And this is another one that just says February 2022. And that's The Christie Affair by Nina de Gramont. And this is out, oh, it comes out on January, uh, February 1st. I didn't even see that little number there. February 1st, 2022 from St. Martin's Press. Now, um, this is a story about Agatha Christie and those 11 days that we've all read and heard about that she goes missing. This is a fictional story set in 1925 London where um, Miss Nana O'Day, she becomes the mistress of Archie Christie, who is married to Agatha Christie. And she's trying, why is she trying to lure him away from his wife, his well-known wife? And it's, what is she doing? Why is she doing it? And it all circulates about these around these 11 days where Agatha Christie went missing. I think it sounds 
fantastic. You know I love a book about an author, a book, a fictionalized account of their lives. Um, I'm sure it's going to be much more complicated than I just tried to summarize. But that is The Christie Affair by Nina de Gramont out from St. Martin's Press on February 1st, 2022. Okay, sometimes I think that my eyes deceive me because I was like, there's no book on that one. There's no date on that book, but there is. There is a date. Okay, this one comes out in March of 2022. Talk about books about authors. This is The Last Confessions of Sylvia P. by Lee Kravitz out from Harper. And again, it comes out in March of 2022. So this is a book told in three perspectives, really about the creation and writing of The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. But the three perspectives are her psychiatrist, a rival poet, and years later, a person who is curating the antiquities, a curator of antiquities is what they're explained. I don't want to know a ton more about it because I want to see how Lee Kravitz brings all of that together. I love a book. I just said it. I love a book about an author's life, a fictional thing. I love when they do a mystery about it. I love how they connect things. So that's The Last Confessions of Sylvia P by Lee Kravitz out again in um, March 2022 from Harper Books. Okay. Some days I realize that being a booktuber is tough. To talk and make sure you're clear and concise whew, can be stressful. The next book I want to tell you about is coming out on February 1st as well, and that's The Violence by Delilah S. Dawson. And this is out from Random House, I believe. Sometimes my eyes... I need to get my eyes checked in this light. Del Rey, that was totally wrong. Del Rey, I'm sorry. Um, January, uh, February, blah, 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 blah. February 1st, 2022, The Violence, Delilah S. Dawson. I'm not gonna, <laughs> oh, I'm telling y'all, but this book sounds oddly terrifying and hopeful at the same time. So this is the story of Chelsea. Now, Chelsea is in a marriage where everything has to be very planned and done because if anything varies from the, the script, her husband is known to do things to herself or to her 17-year-old daughter. And they she wants to avoid that catastrophe. So she always keeps things super, super tight to how he expects and like things. But then one day something comes over the nation and this mysterious condition called the violence starts to occur. And the violence, let me see how this is. Known as the violence, it causes the infected to experience sudden explosive bursts of animalistic rage and attack anyone in their path. Now this gives our main character, Chelsea, an out. And is she, what is she gonna do with it? How is it going to work? I think that sounds so good. I also feel like I can already see the movie. I think it sounds amazing. It is a bit of a chunkster, just being careful to tell you that. That's The Violence by Delilah S. Dawson, and this is out from Delray Books, again on uh, February 1st, 2022. I realize I went a little bit of out of order there, but you know what? I'm not going to start over. I'm not going to try to do it again. I'm just going to tell you about all these books. The next book, also out from Algonquin Books, is The Wonders by Elena Medell, and this is out on uh, March 1st, 2022. Okay, this is the story. Oh, gosh, this, oh, and this one's translated, I believe. Hold on one second. Yes, this one is translated from the Spanish by Lizzie Davis and Tomas, or Thomas Bunstead. And this is the story, and this book won all sorts. It's the winner of the Francisco Umbrella Prize for Book of the Year, and is already a sensation in Spain. So the wonders follow Maria and Alice through the streets of Madrid from job to job, apartment to apartment, as they search for meaning, stability, unknown tra tracing each other's footfalls across time. And um, I think Maria is set in like the 1960s or end of the 1960s. And Al Alicia is in uh, involved in the Women's March of 2018. Um, yeah, and what's the city? I can't remember. It just says to the city. So I don't know yet. But I think it sounds so good. You know, I love books that sort of interconnect time periods and tell us these stories. And then we're like, at the end, we're just like, it just makes so much sense. Um, and yeah, I think this sounds fantastic. So that's The Wonders by Elena Medell out from Algonquin on March 1st, 2022. And again, this is translated from the Spanish by Lizzie Davis and Thomas Bunstead. 
So there you go. I think that cover is actually quite striking too. Last but not least, and to be honest, it has been an adventure getting here today, y'all, because if you knew how many times I've started and stopped this video, Drowning Practice by Mike McGinnis. And this is out from Echo Books uh, in, also in March of 2022. And this book is, sounds fantastic. So one night, everyone on earth has the same dream. And it's this dream of being guided into their watery death by a loved one on November 1st. Now, when they wake up, most people agree, right? Most people agree that the world is going to end the day after Halloween. So our main character is Lyd and her daughter Mott. They decide to go on this road trip together to experience the world before it's supposedly going to end. And everyone is reacting to this news in a different way. The world is dealing with this crisis. And it says... Um, how can Lid protect Ma and help her achieve her ambitions in a world where inhibitions, desires, and motivations have become unpredictable and where Ma's dangerous and conniving father has his own ideas about his estranged family and how they should spend their last days? That cover is quite gorgeous too. So out from Echo Books in March of 2022 is Drowning Practice by Mike McGinnis. And that is this stack of amazing books. I hope every single one of these winds up on your TBR. Let's see if I can hold these up. I'm going to drop one. I just feel it in my go gut. Oh, no, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do this. There you go. There you go. That's the best I'm going to be able to do without dropping them. As always, if you're a return subscriber, I could not do this without you. Thank you all. I just hit 11,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new to my channel, I hope you hit that subscribe button, click that bell so you can hear me talk about books sometimes better than I did today. As always, as always, I encourage you to read globally, shop locally. Until next time, I wish you happy reading. Bye, everyone.